This laboratory in a former industrial estate in Essex, about an hour north of London, is the heart of a 20 million pound Olympic anti-doping operation. Over 6,000 samples will be tested here this summer, more than at any previous Olympic and Paralympic Games. But even with all of this investment and advances in technology, the question remains, can the scientists outsmart the cheats? It's never enough and the race will never be won. I mean, it is like an arms race. Human nature shows that there's always going to be someone who tries to take a shortcut. I think if you look back over the last sort of Olympic cycle, we're better than we were before Beijing. Um, and we need to keep pressing and, and not become complacent and think that we've tackled it because I don't think we ever will. Lead scientists at the London 2012 lab say that even in the four years since the Beijing Games, new technology enables them to carry out more and faster tests than was possible in 2008. Recent agreements between pharmaceutical companies and the World Anti-Doping Agency, or WADA, have also given scientists a head start on developing tests for drugs that have yet to come on the market. Uh, I don't look at it as winning or losing. I look at it as having a good deterrent effect to try to actually discourage people from using drugs since there's um, been agreements between um, the World Anti-Doping Agency um, and major pharma like GlaxoSmithKline meant that drugs actually coming into the pipeline, drugs before they're reaching the market, um, are being considered for their possible misuse potential to make sure that we have good means of actually detecting those substances and thereby actually deterring people who wish to misuse them. From the balcony here at Cisco House, you can see the finishing touches being made to the Olympic Park venues. Providing a level playing field is a key priority for organizers who want to ensure that when Olympic history is made here, there's no doubt that London 2012 was a fair games. But the crucial time for testing is now, when athletes are training and competing in events leading up to the games. I think probably the biggest issue around the Olympic Games is that a lot of doping to get to the Games happens before it. Mm -hmm. um, so what we need to see is a much more coordinated approach from anti-doping organisations around the world in advance of the Games. What we're doing in terms of Team GB is we've got a comprehensive education programme that we've put in place. Uh, complemented with that is our ability to test. Um, and we started our testing program probably before Christmas in terms of trying to make sure that we're testing at the right events, we're testing in the right windows, um, and really ultimately to give the, the public confidence that when Team GB takes to the podium in the Games, then th that they've been subject to a robust testing program. But with less than 50 days to go until the opening ceremony, time is running out. Vanessa Cordicas, Financial Times, London.